global temperature trends have been on an upward incline in the past few decades thanks to global warming. As our society grows in numbers, so do our needs, with uncontrolled deforestation and massive ejection of pollutants and greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, the rising temperature is going to stick around for decades to come. So how do insane temperatures look around the world? Here are 10 of the hottest temperatures ever recorded on Earth, and you're in for a shock. Before we get started, be sure to smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell for more such amazing content. Let's get to it. Number 10. Timbuktu, Mali Our planet is incredibly huge and tracking weather and temperature across the globe has become easier thanks to advancement in meteorological studies. NASA does exactly this through a spectroradiometer, which can detect temperature changes from any location on the planet, and they do this routinely. One such region worth seeing through the spectroradiometer's tracker is Timbuktu in West Africa. Located on the southern edge of the Sahara Desert, this region is known for its hot temperatures as well as being remote. Surrounded by sand dunes, this town usually is hard to get to since sandstorms usually erase traces of the roads leading to and from Timbuktu. The region has recorded an incredible 130.1 degrees Fahrenheit and remains one of the hottest places on Earth. As the old saying goes, from here to Timbuktu, this town is very much real and hot. Number 9. Boiling Lake You wouldn't want to skinny dip in this lake in Kenya, not unless you want to be cooked alive. Lake Bogoria is a geological marvel since the temperatures here can reach above 110 degrees Celsius due to geothermal activity in the region. You can see tourists who visit the spot boiling up a meal in the lake. Sounds like a good plan for sightseeing, cooking at the scene itself. You won't see much life here except for these pink flamingos who seem to know their way around this lake's extreme temperatures. Number 8. Extreme Cooking If you love grilling meat outdoors, then this unique restaurant in the Canary Islands might make you reconsider your grilling game. This is the El Diablo. What makes this joint so unique is that instead of cooking on a stove or grill, the restaurant uses the heat from a real volcano. Yes, it does sound potentially dangerous, but luckily this particular volcano is considered to be dormant and hasn't erupted since 1824. The temperature reaches up to 450 degrees here, and as you can imagine, you can get a lot of cooking and grilling done in little to no time. Do you think you'd take the risk to try out this unique barbecue, or would you rather stick to the grill in your backyard? Let us know in the comments. Number 7. Dalol, Ethiopia if you're familiar with the description fire and brimstone, Dalol in Ethiopia does more than justice to it. This region is a real-life hell with its unique formation and landscape. If you were to step foot here, your sense of smell will be overpowered by the pungent geothermal gases. From volcanic rocks to sulfuric acid, this region is considered to be one of the deadliest places on Earth. Dalol is located inside the Afar Depression, and temperature here can reach a blistering 93.9 degrees Fahrenheit. The Afar Depression is also one of the lowest points on Earth, situated at about 410 feet below sea level. Even rain shies away from this region, and often it receives spells of no more than 150 millimeters of rainwater. You'd think all of these harsh conditions were enough to keep people from living here. Well, you're wrong. People do live here, and tourists too come for sightseeing. So what gives this landscape its characteristic colors? It's the chemical compounds like ferrous chloride and iron hydroxide released by the springs which paint this striking picture. Number 6. Deep Sea Hydrothermal Vents Deep Sea is often an elusive region of the planet, but the few divers and scientists who ventured into its dark fathoms often discover interesting things native to this place. Hydrothermal vents are one of them. Created by geothermal activity deep within the ocean floor, the hydrothermal vents appear when the hot, mineral-rich water from below the tectonic plates comes in contact with the cooler seawater. As the minerals cool off, they take on these vent-like structures. They are incredibly hot inside, and as a result, not much is known about them. The structures can vary drastically based on different factors like chemical composition, temperatures and pressure levels. Vents which expel black smoke emit the hottest and darkest plumes and are rich in sulfur. These vents can reach a staggering 18 feet tall, and that's close to a six-story building. Vents with white smoke are rich in barium, calcium, and silicon, and their structures are smaller. And finally, vents which are cooler than the others are called seeps, and they lie somewhere between the two. Just look at them, almost like an underground city. Number 5. Port Sudan 
On an average, around 658 people die from heat stroke across the world. So what is it exactly? It's when your body temperatures rise above 104 degrees and your body essentially shuts down from overheating. Symptoms can include confusion, headache, dizziness, dry or damp skin, etc. Port Sudan is notorious for its fatal heat stroke cases every year. Due to the recent heat waves in the region, neighboring hospitals have registered three times more heat stroke cases than normal each day and at least seven deaths resulting from it. In 2020, Port Sudan experienced a heat wave reaching a blistering 113 degrees in one day. It's almost a miracle how these workers are managing to pull through such extreme conditions. Heat stroke is a serious condition, so the next time you go out in the sun, take adequate precautions. Number 4. Mitrabar Q8 Record-breaking temperature readings are a part of our current global trend, and one of them came from Mitrabar in Q8. The World Meteorological Organization announced that Mitrabar hit 112 degrees in 2016 and later broke that record with a reading of 128.7 degrees in 2017. Just imagine living somewhere with these readings. The WMO officially recognizes this reading as the highest in continental Asia. They also went on to record that these two readings are the third highest WMO recognized temperature extremes. As a side note, there is a temperature recorded in 1913 which beats Mitrabar by a few degrees, but unfortunately there's no way to prove this claim, the claim being 134 degrees. Even 128.7 degrees itself is hard to imagine. The World Meteorological Organization only accepts temperature readings from the past 76 years and probably because of advancements in weather tracking systems since then. Number 3. Car Frying Skyscraper what happens when you combine an architectural miscalculation with the sun? Well, a concentrated beam of sunlight enough to melt cars. That's right, this incident happened in London when a new skyscraper popped up in the capital with its 37 mirrored floors. What's unique about this building is its curved shape like a walkie-talkie and mirrored walls all across the skyscraper. What the architects behind this design failed to consider was how the mirror facade and the shape could create a unique phenomenon of concentrated beam of sunlight hitting the street below. Turns out, when the sun reaches a certain angle in the sky, this sun-powered laser beam would hit the ground and melt things, including a Jaguar parked at the epicenter. Can you imagine the owner's luck? This strange phenomenon has caused a lot of trouble for local businesses by bringing in inconveniences and destruction. Pedestrians who came to know of this oven in the street started frying eggs on the sidewalks. Resourceful, maybe, but doesn't help the people who have to walk there. Due to mounting concerns and complaints, the problem has been fixed by installing special dark windows to make it less reflective and to reduce the heat as well. Number 2. Stock Shoes The land down under has been in the news this year for the wild forest fires ravaging across the continent, but this isn't a new phenomenon for Australia. In 2013, the country witnessed extreme heat waves which raised the temperatures and remained at 35 to 50 degrees based on the region. The extraordinary heat wave coupled with dry weather ignited several forest fires across the country and brought about incredible destruction and suffering. Countless Australians had to abandon their homes and seek shelter from the fires. Another problem which citizens had to deal with here were the melted tarmac caused by the extreme heat. The streets became like a pool of slush and many pedestrians lost their flip-flops and shoes after getting stuck in the gooey mess. Just look at how these people are struggling to walk across the street. Sadly, the story doesn't end there. The same destructive heat wave returned to the continent in 2018 and the cycle started again, where asphalt started to melt. Many drivers had to give up on their tyres since they were completely stuck and ruined by the tarmac. Sounds even worse than getting stuck in quicksand. Number 1. Melting Cars We've all seen an ice cream cone slowly melting away in our hands while we try to lick away the runaway trickles before hitting the ground. But we bet that you've never seen this cars melting in a pretty much similar fashion. In June 2018, a fire broke out at a construction site close to the University of Arizona, and the heat it generated along with Arizona's arid climate was so intense it reduced several cars in a nearby parking lot to just molten metal. This comes as no surprise since Arizona is considered as the hottest place in the whole of the United States. People have gotten used to these conditions and trying to make the best of it by cooking or baking things on car panels. You've got to have a sense of humor about these things if you're living here, right? Since tarmac generally gets really hot with change in temperature, you'll often see melted road signs out in the Arizona highways. Another case of extreme temperatures was recorded in 2013 in Denver, when the similar situation of a fire at a construction site amped up the heat so much 
It damaged windows and cars which were meters away from the scene. Makes you kind of appreciate the weather in your own cities, doesn't it? Mother Nature certainly knows how to keep us on our toes. If temperatures are peaking at 128.7 degrees right now, just within our own lifetime, imagine where it'll reach a few generations in the future. What are your experiences with climate change? Go ahead and let us know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this content, be sure to hit the like button, share, and subscribe. See you later.